Over the last 15 years of working with clients, we have found three situations related to firms or businesses and their mission and vision statements. The Firm Foundation video series helps leaders of wealth management firms lead and grow their companies more effectively. Situation A is they don't exist. They just don't have anything documented relative to, to mission and vision. That's fairly rare, but it does, does happen. The second and by far the most prominent situation is they have something on paper, but it's not relevant to the day-to-day -day business. They just did it as an exercise because it was the right thing to do. They checked a box and then they moved on. And this is the ubiquitous mission statement in the, in the lobby that they hang up, but no one really knows what it says and no one really understands why that verbiage was chosen in the first place. And then the third category, which is also pretty rare, unfortunately, is the highly re relevant and integrated mission and vision statements that actually inform how that business operates on a day-to-day -day bas basis. Why is it important to have the integrated approach that we advocate for? Number one, it helps minimize drift. All of us live in a distracted world where we can be have our attention called to shiny objects or to new opportunities. And if we don't have a plumb line to reference, we can easily be taken off course. The second is clarity. Clarity internally about who we are as a firm, why we do what we do and what we do best. That is essential to running a well-disciplined visionary firm. This, the, the, other thing that it helps us do is create unity. If we have unity internally about what we're trying to accomplish, we work better as a team, we understand where we're going and why where we're going is important. It also helps narrow our focus on who we best serve and how we're going to serve them. And at the end of the day, if we do an effective vision and mission statement, those can help inform every single business decision that we make on one level or another. And in order to illustrate this, I'm gonna read a couple of mission statements. First is, a lot of you know that we're based in Nashville, Tennessee, where Dave Ramsey is based, and his mission statement says this, the Lampo Group provides biblically-based common sense education and empowerment that give hope to everyone in every walk of life. That's a very clear, very purposeful, and because of my local knowledge of how this serves the organization, this really becomes a plumb line that all their decisions are filtered through. If it doesn't line up with those words, then it's not. Here's a generic mission statement that I use as a, an example of a, a poorly written mission statement that no one would care about. Our mission is to competently facilitate cost-effective infrastructures and globally simplify high-quality technology to stay competitive in tomorrow's world. Well, what does that actually mean? I'm frankly not sure. Why does it matter? I don't know that either, but it's, it's that check-the-box kind of mentality. So when you create that mission statement that's compelling, it really serves your organization well and it really simplifies how you do what you do and keeps that focus that we talked about. Firm Foundations is brought to you in part by our friends at Smart RIA, where they help financial advisors simplify their compliance.